Okay, here's the full uh, steps workout. I'm just going to run all the way through and you can take bits and uh, bobs from it uh, as you want to use in your own training. Check the description below for some more details about how to program this into your running and your strength and conditioning work, how often and how many reps, uh, etc. Uh, but yeah, I'll just get on with it and you can see how it works for you. That was two sets of single step sprints and two sets of two step sprints. Now we're going into single step jumps, two feet with a stick line. Now I'm going to take that to two steps. Now we're going to do single leg work, halfway up on one leg, halfway up on the other, a stick landing for now. Second set. And this bit is the real plyometric part. We're going to do single step hops on one leg. Then I'm going to do um, two legged single steps and double steps as well. 
A single leg on to do first. single ones are really working on a short contact time springing straight up onto the next one nice and stiff through the body and the legs the arms give a bit of drive as well now I'm going to regress slightly and go back to two legs and do the single step plyometric ones, two steps of two feet, shorter contact time as possible. Okay, so they're the main sequences I put in um, my steps work once, maybe twice a week, and it takes five, six, seven minutes to run through that. You don't have to do loads of them, what we call a minimal dose response. So enough to get the gains out of it, but not so much that you're getting tired, fatigued, niggly, um, injuries and flare-ups coming up from that. Just enough initiate some stiff, stiffness gains, um, some strength gains, working on the improving sharpness off the floor and uh, that's going to help you when you come to your running as well. Uh, check the description at the bottom for a bit more information and follow the links to some of the other um, hopefully helpful exercise videos as well. And uh, Yeah, give them a try.